my channel, Simply Sarah Beth. If you're new here, welcome. This is a weight loss slash fitness journey channel. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and that little button down there, just like it's right next to my name. Go down there and you click it and then you subscribe and then you see my videos. Although truthfully, lately, this is more of a sit around and watch their complain channel. So, but I'm determined to change that this week and it's Monday and I'm like, I feel like I've already started making changes. Uh, last week I felt crappy. I don't think I worked out. I think I worked out Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday. And I have not worked out since then. So I'm like so ready to get back to the gym today. Like it hit me and dawned on me that like, oh, I have vacation in like a week and a half where I'm gonna have to wear a bathing suit. Like, come on, Sarah, what are you doing? So I need to get rid of some of this weight. Like I know it's a week and a half away. So like, it's gonna be like water weight and maybe one or two pounds, but that's about it. So I think I was like at, this is like really sad, but like, let's just be truthful. I was at 244 this morning. So yes, I got above 240 again. Not surprised at all if you've watched me eat. Anyways, so, but I'm determined. Um, a lot of the reason that I've been useless is from this exhaustion, um, from this autoimmune disease. And I'm just like, I think a lot of it is, is that I almost get overwhelmed very easily because I'm so tired. And so I don't get things done. Like if I'm sitting at my desk and I'm like, I have to get 110 productivity. I got to get this on the house. I got to get this on the house. I got to prep dinner and I got to go to the gym. It just, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're like at this point of just like utter exhaustion for no reason, um, it's just overwhelming. So I actually got a planner. I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, and like almost like time timed out my whole day, like not like minute by minute, but around by like noon, what should be done and vice versa. And I think it's helping and a lot of it might be in my mind right now, but I've gone tanning, I've watered my yard, I'm at 90% productivity for the day at work and I still have a few hours left. I'm filming, so you know, we're on that road. I, I don't know, I just think it's easier. It's like little baby steps to get through my day. So it's lunchtime now and I'm gonna eat good. So I'm actually, I'm about to make dinner and lunch for you guys. Well, not for you guys, cause you won't be here to enjoy it, but just so you can see what I'm eating. So first and foremost, I'm gonna prep this chicken. I'm gonna turn it on the oven. You guys pretty much, if you've been here for a while, you've pretty much seen me make this before, but whatever. Where's the aluminum foil? So just prepping chicken for the week um, for my lunches. And then for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make a roast. I actually thoroughly enjoy roast. I don't know if it's because I used to hate it when I was little and my mom ate it all the time. Love you, mom. But as an adult and the only thing I can really make is chicken, I think I'm just so tired of chicken that like a roast that's been in the crock pot all day is good. So the chicken I'm making is like pre-seasoned chicken from H-E-B. It's just a grocery store in Texas if you don't know what that is. Um, and this is the lemon pepper. I usually get like Uncle Charles, where's my knife? or something, Uncle Charlie's seasoning, but they didn't have it, so we went with this. But pre-seasoned chicken breast is like the easiest thing in the world, so. I'm honestly so happy. I find, finally, I haven't like tan in weeks, weeks, and I don't like, well, I don't think I look like horrible not tan, but I don't like myself not tan, so it felt really good to get back there. Like I said, I just, I, I sleep all the time. I don't know. I don't know how to like explain the exhaustion from you. Like <laughs> I used to like when pregnant ladies used to tell me like they were tired. It's like, okay, like, yeah, you're like tired, but no, 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 no. Like I get it now. It's like an out of the body. Obviously something's going on inside, which for me, it's just that I'm attacking itself, but out of this world <laughs> exhaustion, I like wake up from sleeping 12 hours, tired. And, um, but I think it's somewhat getting better. I think getting in a routine will also help because I feel very unproductive and that kind of like messes with my mindset, which in itself I think makes me tired, if that makes sense. So this chicken is just anywhere on this one. So pretty much I just put the chicken on the pan and I'm gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes at 375, 350, it doesn't matter. 
I mean, somewhere around there. Just make sure it's cooked all the way. Okay, and so that's in the oven. That will be there for a minute. All right, so for dinner, you get this in the crock pot. Now, I normally get the roasts that are like, have the seasoning packs and the veggies and everything. But AGB doesn't have those. Those are from Walmart. I honestly don't even know. How do you like first start cutting an onion? Ugh, I don't cook. I, I don't know how people enjoy this. This is like not fun. I don't know what it is. This is huge. Is this big? Is this a big roast? I don't know. Oh well. Oh well. Leftover meat. That's fine. All right. So since it doesn't have like the seasoning pack and stuff, I'm just gonna like I guess season it myself. I'm sure it will be fine. So, people of the internet, don't judge me. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna put on is garlic lovers. It's the flavor god seasoning. You like see it everywhere. Come on, focus. Is it focusing? I'm like t not touching things that I'm touching the meat with. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's garlic lovers, it's a seasoning. Oh. I got it from Rock's Gym. Not Rock Shim. I do that every time. I got it from Rock's Vitamin. I don't know. I guess I'll just put that on. Put some garlic salt on it. If this is horrible, my husband's gonna be like, Sarah, this is why you don't cook. And then I have this Adobe all seasoning like stuff, which I swear by. I like put it on everything, literally everything. I see people do that, right? Rub it in. Is that what you do? <laughs> I can't. No, my mom usually like sears it in a pan first. She says it like keeps all the stuff in, but I'm not about to do that. Not about that life. I really hope this is good. Who doesn't like a good garlicky roast? I hope this is good. All right, and then I'm just gonna put that right in. The put that right. In oh wait, there needs to be water in there. Oh crap. Next thing I'm gonna do is chop up some onions to put in it. I don't know how to slice an onion. You take the stuff off, right? No? Yes? I think you like cut it in half. And then, I mean, I'm not going to save this because I don't cook. <laughs> Literally just bought a whole onion. I feel like my mom used to make an onion last like a lifetime. All right. Ugh. How do you cut an onion? Do you cut it like this way or that? Seriously, people. I don't even think I have the right knife. Why am I filming this? I mean, you can't like screw up an onion, right? Honestly, put onion in there more for flavoring. It's not even like I eat the dang thing. We're preheated. Funny story. My husband doesn't allow me to play with knives. No, um, my husband usually like dices and everything for me because, well, because I don't do it properly, obviously I'm uh, prone to cut myself. Like even at Applebee's and stuff, I'm not allowed to like, you know how they give you a steak knife? Anyways. All right. How much is enough? Like half an onion? Is that too much? I'm just gonna dice an onion. That sounds about right. Sounds like what chopping sounds like on a cooking show. All right, I'm putting in like half an onion because who cares? And then it's diced up a little bit and I'll throw away the rest. All right, awesome. Go in with the meat. Go in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, maybe that's a lot of onion. Oh, well. All right, sorry, top half onion. We're done with you. So for those of you, I guess since I'm like telling you what I'm eating today, for those of you who are wondering what I had for breakfast, I had these Jimmy Delee, blah, 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 Jimmy Dean Delight frittatas, bacon and spinach. And it comes in like these two packs and you put them in the microwave for like a minute and 45 seconds and it's perfect and it's ready to go. And two of them have, for two frittatas, it's 250 calories, nine carbs, 13 grams of protein. That's what mama likes. I know it's not like the healthiest breakfast ever, but that's also, I used to like literally make my breakfast and I realized that that's one thing that like holds me back of getting stuff done just to take up. I'm not a morning person at all, so 
that like would put me in a bad mood so who cares at least i'm eating breakfast so there we go so yeah that is just i wanted to give you guys a glimpse and prove that i am actually doing better with my life and making dinner and not having wendy's for like the fifth time oh my gosh anyone else like obsessed with wendy's chicken nuggets and can we talk about why they got rid of the spicy ones because those were the best wendy's if you're listening bring those back all right guys so i am about to go clock back in for my lunch and wait for my chicken to be done and i'll probably see you guys on my way to the gym or at the gym or some other time see you soon hey guys so end of day on monday and i just wanted to give you an update so i did go to the gym it's like a freaking miracle. Um, I did legs and like two back exercises. I don't even know. I didn't push it too much. I literally finished with 20 minutes of cardio, only walking on the treadmill. Had to stretch a lot afterwards. Um, but I was here for two hours and I haven't done that in a long time. I just, listen, I, I put, put a post on it on Facebook because I did it before and after right here. This right here is not a huge change. It's not. This was December. This is today. Um, I don't even know what it was weight loss, weight wise, just because I don't look at the numbers as much. I could look it up, but anyways. But it's not a huge difference. But considering how my last few months have been, I think it's a freaking amazing thing because truthfully, like, I feel like with how I've been eating lately, I've been eating my feelings. I've been eating my pain. I've been eating my tiredness. It's like, I feel like I've been getting back up to like 280 pounds again. And so to see that, to see that even though it's not a huge difference, there's a slight minimal difference. It's like, no, like I still got this. I'm capable of this. I can push through the tiredness. I can somewhat push through the pain in a smart way, not in a like horrible like hurting myself way um even if that means I just gotta go to bed as soon as I get home from the gym I'm determined to not let ankylosing spondylitis determine my life like I've worked too hard to get here and like I said I'll I'll show you probably tomorrow like kind of the plan I set out for myself but like I can't get back there and I think that scares me more than anything else and um, I know I'm going to have bad days, but I got to keep pushing through. So today was an amazing day. It's the best day I've had in a long time. Am I sore? Yes. Am I tired? Yes. But like I did something with my day and I haven't done that in a long time and it feels great. My water, I don't like drinking the bottom of drinks because to me it's all spit, which I know some people think that's crazy, but like I drank my gallon today and I haven't done that in so long. So I'm really happy where I'm at. Only thing I'm not happy about my life is the fact that my I have a hair appointment on Wednesday and like I'm at that like weird blonde phase where it's like copper yellow and it looks gross. I'm so ready for that hair appointment. Um, but so guys, today was a good day. I really hope that this means the rest of my week will be good. I'll be having another, another vlog for you guys out tomorrow and I hope you all are having an amazing week, an amazing Monday, an amazing Tuesday because that's the day that you're actually seeing this as well. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.